A FESTA PARADE-LIKE EVENT, MAYOR JERRY DYER DELIVERING HIS FIRST STATE OF THE CITY ADDRESS THIS MORNING. IT COMES JUST A DAY AFTER THE CITY ADOPTED A HISTORIC $1.4 BILLION BUDGET FOR THE 2022 FISCAL YEAR. OUR ADRIAN THOMAS WITH MORE ON THE MAYOR'S MESSAGE TO FRESNANS. It was a much more casual setting at this year's State of the City address than in years past. About 1,500 people showed up at Chuck Chansey Park this morning to come together and support Mayor Jerry Dyer in his first State of the City address after what's been a very difficult year for Fresnans due to COVID-19. Mayor Jerry Dyer took center stage Friday morning to bust some moves, but more importantly, speak directly to Fresnans six months into his term. The main theme, One Fresno, the phrase seen in giant letters on the stage, along with performances to highlight the city's cultural diversity. Regardless of our political affiliation, color of our skin, our neighborhood in which we live, we are One Fresno. The mayor was also joined by some of city council in a show of unity. Council President Luis Chavez thanking the mayor for productive negotiations on the most recent budget. I just want to thank the mayor for the work that he's done these past six months. Yesterday we passed one of the most historic budgets in the city of Fresno. Every single neighborhood was reflected in that budget and I want to thank the mayor for that. In his address, Dyer said he has listened to his fellow residents and is delivering on these main issues. Housing our homeless, beautifying our city, focusing on inclusive economic development, restoring pride in our downtown, supporting our youth, and keeping people safe. Dyer emphasized his efforts to combat homelessness, recognizing a man in the crowd who has benefited from Project Off-Ramp. Dyer also making a bold promise. With multi-year state and federal funding on the horizon combined with our current strategies and partnerships, we are poised to be homeless free by the end of 2024 and I am committed along with the council to achieving that goal. Mayor Dyer also reaffirmed his commitment to public safety in his address, saying there will be 120 police officers added over 15 months, along with 42 new firefighters added by 2022. Those were both items that were budgeted for. When the 2022 fiscal year budget was adopted on Thursday, all city council members voted for it except Mike Carbasi and Gary Bredefeld. For now, reporting at Chuck Chansey Park, Adrian Thomas, KC24, Local News That Matters.